It is the 16th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start tonight with, I'm um, going to put out a video Mr. Come T Watch put out. He's been covering the total uh, natural gas leak in the North Sea uh, off the coast of Scotland. He's discovered a picture, or he was, it was brought to him at his attention a photograph from the International Space Station. Um, showing a huge plume of methane gas and other things coming out of the sea uh, off the coast of Scotland. I will connect the link to this. I would uh, ask my smart people to come look into this and to verify uh, is this really going on because if this picture speaks volumes um, we have some serious situations on what is a news blackout in the total gas leak in the North Sea off the coast of Scotland. So let's go ahead and get started over on Soptop Net tonight. Uh, they got a story tectonic plate cracking up. A leading earthquake scientist has warned that the planet could be cracking up after a series of master, massive quakes in just 48 hours. Uh, insane. Uh, the series started with two massive quakes in Indonesia measuring 8.6 and 8.2 on the Richter scale, rapidly followed by three more only sm slightly smaller qu quakes in Mexico within hours. Uh, quote, there is no doubt that something is seriously wrong. There may have been too many strong earthquakes, uh, says this one expert. Mass dolphin deaths in Peru blamed on oil seeking sonar blasts. Uh, the deaths of thousands of dolphins that washed up on the beaches in Peru may have been caused by acoustic testing offshore by oil companies, conservatives have warned. And over 3,000 animals were found. Uh, this is record numbers, uh, match be mass beachings of dolphins ever recorded. Tornadoes batter Midwest. Uh, five dead, at least 37 injured in Oklahoma as Twister rips through hospitals, homes, and tears apart entire towns. Major, major storm system rolling through the central United States. Uh, we got our share of hail and very strong wind here. Uh, trees down and that kind of thing. Uh, ongoing situation, actually. Incredible images show giant sinkhole in Sweden keeps expanding. Uh, looks like it's taken straight out of a horror movie. An enormous hole leading to hell, some would say, but this is not a movie. Uh, this is real and dangerous phenomenon. New shocking images clearly show the enormous pit in Sweden is expanding. And they got some very um, dramatic pictures there as well. Uh, the earthquake on the 15th, 6.2 off the west coast of northern Sumatra, a very seismically active area, and again another 6.5 in Vanuatu, uh, leading up to that one story I started off with. Over to the extinction protocol, Mexico sleeping uh, Pampa, the, the volcano outside of Mexican City awakens again. Uh, the nearly 18,000 foot volcano that hovers like a sentinel on the southern fringe of Mexico's capital awakened again Sunday, punctuating an especially shaky seismic season. Popo, as the mountain is widely called, spewed at least seven exhaustions overnight on Saturday and through the day Sunday, sending vapor, smoke, and gas billowing into the clear sky. Um, very, very much so this volcano is gearing up. Uh, I've been letting you know for weeks now. Two volcanoes in Co Costa Rica, Costa Rica, now reporting increasing activity. Thursday last, the Torabella sent experts scurrying to analyze the recent activity at the Colossus southeast of San Jose on Saturday. However, the Vulcan Recon de la Villa decided on a rumble of its own. When around 2 p.m., when residents heard the rumbles from the volcano located north of San Jose province. Uh, so they've got volcanoes gearing up around them. The drought in England could last until Christmas. A drought affecting parts of England could last until after Christmas, Britain's environmental agency warned on Monday, as rain over the spring and summer is unlikely to replenish low water levels. In a country more usually associated with damp and drizzle, drought has been declared in 17 counties in England, southeast and central regions after two dry winters left rivers at ground water and groundwaters depleted. Uh, they are in serious water shortage there as well. And then, of course, they've got the war drums and the economy stuff going on. Over to the RSOE. Um, let's...
let's see, volcano activity in uh, Mexico City, extreme weather in Iran, they're reporting uh, torrential rain, heavy storms, that kind of thing, no reports of injuries, just some unusually uh, heavy uh, rainstorms for that time of year, and of course the tornadoes rolling through the state of Oklahoma, uh, that's about all new they have going on tonight, over to the nuclear stuff now. E&A News report, TEPCO will start covering number four spent fuel pool tomorrow. Took them a whole year to figure that out. Um, government admits for the first time, all nuclear reactors will be shut down in Japan. 45 years since no plants were operating in the country. In May, the last plant goes down for repairs. And uh, Japan is going to discover quite happily that they can do just fine without nuclear power. Alaska's number two newspaper, Spring Brings Fallout, cesium-137, believed to cause malevolent genetic mutations, says reprinted editorial. And they've got a lot of nuclear fallout up in Alaska, British Columbia, and the entire west coast of the United States, along with that radioactive tsunami debris coming your way very soon. Uh, I got a story book, Reactor Number 4 Deformed in Front of Our Eyes, says Fukushima Worker. Walls morphed like a special effects from a movie. No large explosion, yet the building was destroyed. And uh, if that pool goes, Number 3 is already shot. Revealed, refrain from saying things... <laughs> okay, they've revealed, quote, refrain from saying things that may weaken TEPCO. Uh, Prime Minister Noda in March 2011. And I believe, isn't this the guy who's going to be Japan's savior now? Uh, Kyoto, movie to restart, move to restart reactors blasted as misinformed haste. Government under fire from public experts. And I've seen some of these meetings. They're not listening to the people. They're doing whatever the hell they want. All nuclear power in Japan may come to a halt, thankfully. Government failing, uh, failing in effort to restart OI reactors before final plant shutdown. Chances are remote they'll get this started. Let's hope so. People are already talking about blocking the entrances to these things. And uh, they're making a great big stink about restarting these two reactors, as they very well should. Uh, TEPCO's reporting another thermometer breaks at Fukushima. Now only one left at the bottom of reactor number two, pressure vessel, and again they are using um, computer models um, to figure out what's really going on in there when they have absolutely no clue. And if they do, they're definitely not telling us. Senior local official warns, quote, it is necessary to provide them with permanent medical treatment. Our residents will be plagued by worries about their health from Fukushima radiation exposure. Uh, yeah, that's definitely an understatement. We're starting to hear rumors about them actually making a deal with Russia and China uh, to move 40 million Japanese civilians uh, out of harm's way, including the city of uh, Tokyo. Um, but that, again, is unconfirmed at the moment. Uh, TEPCO checking levelness of number four spent fuel pool just now. And now 20... Quake centered in Fukushima, beginning with a magnitude 5.9 and just over 24 hours ago. Consecutive magnitude 4.4s in the last 30 minutes. Um, very seismically active area again, and they provide a link to a uh, Japanese earthquake site, so you can see the, the, the earthquakes that are just happening in Japan. And that kind of helps you narrow down a big picture of uh, what the USGS is not showing us. And uh, we can keep an eye better on what's really going on in Japan. Japan Times headline, Machine fell into Mox spent fuel pool. TEPCO, highly dangerous mixed oxide fuel. Um, of course, the, the big crane used to lift out this stuff uh, fell into the fuel pool number three reactor. Uh, that, that pool is in quote-unquote rubble. Um, and they can see the girders and stuff on the bottom of the fuel pool. Thankfully, number three wasn't nearly as full as number four. Um, but the point is, the, the pool is destroyed, the reactor is destroyed, and they can't really get near it to do anything about it yet. Um, continue to eat your Pacific seafood, people. Uh, everything's completely under control. And uh, 
Tokyo Shimabun, evacuation of Tokyo considered on March 12th after reactor number one explosion. Quote, we have to start thinking about wide area of evacuation, including Tokyo. And these are people telling people to get out last year. Get the hell out of there uh, before things get too bad. But uh, unfortunately, all of these poor civilians in, in um, Japan have been exposed to high doses of uh, nuclear radiation uh, due to the TEPCO incident and uh, the Japanese government's cover-up uh, because it's just too damn expensive to move all those people. It's not cost-effective. They'd rather watch you die. And, uh, yeah, that's about all new I'm going to cover today. Again, definitely check out, uh, um, what was the name of Mr. Come T Watch's video. Uh, he's been fairly reliable uh, as far as my end watching his shows. Uh, he's the one covering the total gas leak off the coast of Scotland. Um, very dramatic picture. And uh, I, I would ask you to look at it and let me know what you think um, is going on up there off the coast of Scotland that you don't see anything on the news about. So enjoy what you can, everybody. Please attach your comments or videos. Thanks.